Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay, so we got the projector online in the last episode. So what we need to do now is so we can make all these cool toys, we gotta get a protection facility online. In order to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and right now, I'm just gonna connect one of these to this facility. Probably this one because it looks like it's straight going to line up with uh, the container. So that was steel plates and the basic stuff we need online and working. Um, let's see here. We're going to need a 90, a straight tube, and that'll work for now. I, this is not how I want this to get set up long term for sure. But that problem right there is going to plague us for a while. So. I do want those trimmed back there anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think actually I want them trimmed back farther. But. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. That'll work. We just want to get the ball rolling here. And. Okay, so it does line up. That's perfect. All right. So now we'll weld this up. We need to go get some steel from, or some iron from up here so we can turn it into steel plates. Okay, so that goes to the assembler downstairs. <clears throat> That's why I didn't want to do this, is because I don't want uh, the chandelier to show up in the inventory of the base. So we're going to come up here, we're going to do iron. We get 20,000 units of iron, give or take. And we'll come down here and we will add it to the, the assembler. And we will get some production going on steel plates. So I want to go to here, go to hauler. Two. There we go. And we're going to take everything out of there. That is not iron. So we got 20,000 units roughly of iron in there now. We are going to start some production on some steel plates and some large steel tubes because we need a lot of those for uh, thruster components or for thrusters. Um, yeah, so we're going to make, to make things easier on ourselves, we're going to make um, We're gonna make a few uh, steel plates, 15,000 of them. Looks like we need to get more iron, which we're gonna go do, because I want enough to make a lot of steel plates. I'm tired of running out. So it looks like there's some in this one. There is, there's 12,000 in this one. Why isn't it going? Hauler container to, oh, okay, there it goes. So that should be enough to do um, the steel plates we just queued up, but we also need <clears throat> large steel tubes and a few other components as well that are iron heavy. Okay, so now our production should be clear for iron. Okay, by considerable amount. I'm gonna make 2,000 large steel tubes. <clears throat> so 
So we're at 37,000 out of 50,000 as far as iron production goes. That's pretty good. So now we're going to be underway for that. So in the last episode, we also not only got the projector online, but we also built another little shuttle right here. So it's missing a few components, um, like a couple a couple uh, thrusters. Um, I'm going to swap out the engines for uh, a little bit more efficient ones. And probably add in um, some weapons. I'm going to swap this out for a camera because these lights do nothing but cause a lag. So I'm going to swap that out for a camera. Do -do -do camera. And just like we did last time, we're going to go here. Go to a dark color. There we go. And we need some computers. Okay. It's bouncing. That's kind of disturbing. Is it something where you name Kestrel something and it just starts twitching? Let's see, we need some computers, 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 computers. Okay. So, we'll drop the computer in here. Get this welded up. Okay, so that camera's online now. So then we need a thruster there and a thruster on the other side. <clears throat> but I want to see about using something a little bit more efficient. Um, so that's a large thruster from this mod. This is a small thruster from this mod. I like the Sage thrusters, but they're really big. So I that's you know what they are. They're 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 industrial size that's way too big um, that's getting better and that is mammoth as well didn't just use a sage thruster at that point I could replace this hole in the cell with this I guess that kind of give it an interesting look but then it would look completely different than how that is all right let's see all right, let's go with that. Um, okay, so we'll carve that into there, I think. See what that looks like. So we need small steel tubes. And construction components. <clears throat> Some small steel tubes and some construction components. We'll come over here and slap these on here and see what they look like. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to get this thing a little bit of an upgrade. Um, I think if we're going to be making fighters, they need to be a little bit more agile. Uh, this thing is pretty cool as a shuttle, but um, yeah, I think as a uh, As a as a as a fighter, it was it was definitely lacking. I think I'm gonna put it there, and then I'll trim this back to get that angle. So let's go here. G. Light armor slope. Like that. So it still has that tapered look, but I think it could probably move this back a little bit or bring this part forward, the gray part. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's get... Uh, let's get over here and... Six? Yeah, you. I'll just try plugging that in there and seeing what it looks like. 
that are probably just gonna poke through and I'm not gonna like that, but yeah, we'll see. So let's get, we need a few more of these. Um, what's inside of here? So we know we got our radio right there, which we could move. We could move the radio. But I'm thinking of carving out all of that and putting in this guy. That's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, we'd have to take out like that much. That's a complete redesign. Never mind. We're not taking that route. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna go back there. That's gonna go back here, but we need to change color. All right. There. Oops, that's the wrong color. Oops. Okay. So, yeah, we'll bring the scorpion over. We'll throw the, dip. let's not talk about it, let's do it. Let's grab the scorpion. We'll come over here, weld those thrusters up, and uh, see how they do. Um, basically, I want to see what they, the finished. Wow, rocking and rolling there. I want to see what the finished build state looks like um, in those two different places, kind of set back like this one is, and uh, the more internally. We did need to get that built though. There we go. Oh, it's not shaking so much. That's cool. Alright, so let's get this. No, it doesn't want to build. Alright, so what are you missing, buddy? What are you missing? Two of those superchargers. I could have swore I had a bunch of those. And what are you missing? Two of those superchargers. Okay. Mm, like I said, I thought I had some of those in here. They must be over here inside the production facility. So one of the things we're going to be looking for... Is this a supercharger? Yes. Okay, so one of the things we're going to be looking to do in the next coming episodes is get some connectors like that at multiple spots on the ship so or on the ship on the station um like we have one here but it's not tied in yet um this one here is meant to be used for the uh the welding ring okay so this is online now and that's online. I think it definitely looks better as the that other color, but it's definitely hard to tie it into the ship. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, it looks cool. I like the way that looks coming out the back like that. All right, so I think I'm gonna add I was gonna say I think I'm gonna add a re um, a gyro, but once I zoom in with that camera, the last thing I need is more agility. I end up having to turn my mouse sensitivity to zero every time. So I do think we're gonna swap out all of our side thrusters for the small ones like we have on the Scorpion. Um, I do tend to think those look better as uh, maneuvering thrusters. So, we're definitely going to do that. But we also need to put the gun on here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to use the same sniper rifle that I was using earlier. Um, but I'm not sure where to mount it because I want to be able to pipe it. 
and I want to be able to be center of shit too. So in theory, it would be above the cockpit with the barrel coming forward. <clears throat> Can't block a reactor. So I might end up putting them off the wings and not piping them at all. So I think it'll look kind of weird, but uh, for going out and blowing stuff up, I think it'll work. It'll be fine. So something like that. We definitely would have to change the thrusters out because the thrusters would melt it off. Unless we put it up here. Hey, we need large steel tubes. Hmm. Who would have thunk that, right? So we're going to put this probably like right there. It totally doesn't look like it belongs there, but we're going to we're going to make it work. That was the original color of the ship. That blue. A lot of the ships in this game come in that the four colors basically. You got red, you got this blue, and then you got the white and blue. And so I need to go with G, give me a basic block. This poor ship's got the shakes. Why aren't you turning? Oh, okay, that'd be why. Um, so let's go ahead and put this guy right there, I think, after we go get some large steel tubes. There's none in the scorpion. Um, that's a rare commodity like steel plates. There's a couple. Take those. Alright, so let's get this on here. Um, not exactly the orientation I really want to go for. It really isn't, but meh, it'll do. This is a temporary direction that we're going with this, so. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go test it and make sure that those jets don't burn off the, uh, the cannons. Can't shoot. We don't have any ammo. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just pushing forward and spinning at a really hard rate. Just pulling really hard to the left and pulling really hard to the right. Letting the inertial dampeners kick in. Um, the burst from the inertial dampeners is stronger than your if you were to move left and right. So yeah, there was a great example of that. So if I'm going forward, I'm gonna hold down the left key. So there we go. See how far those jets come out? They barely come past the the gun. Now watch when I let go of the left key. They go way past the gun on the right. So that's just to show you how much stronger the inertial dampener burst is versus just holding down the key. So if you want to stop, the best thing to do is to have your inertial dampeners on to begin with and let go of the keys. Um, basically, the inertial dampeners are smarter, faster, and stronger than you are going to be as far as controls go. Think of it kind of like a fly-by-wire for your spaceship where the computer is doing the driving for you. You're just kind of along for the ride, telling it, asking it what to do. Not so much telling. Okay, so we're coming here, we're gonna land. Park, get out. And do we have any of those shells left in our inventory? Because I remember we had uh, grabbed some of it when uh, I crashed it last episode. Yep, we do. We will take, put 15 of those in each, each gun. We want 15. Okay, so now, last time we were also 
firing all crazy like we had shots going above and below the turrets from where we were aiming and this time we're going to do something a little different we're going to come in here we're going to take one gun shoot once take another gun i'm going to put it over here shoot once put the camera in the middle view so now when we want to shoot we're going to hit one and three um I'm not sure how that's gonna work out because um, I'm also gonna take and put this down here. Uh, this would just be us left clicking with our mouse. <clears throat> so the theory is, we come up here, we're gonna zoom in. they firing okay so it's out of ammunition I thought I just put ammo in it clicking like it wants to reload why is it not working okay um it's shot is turned off Okay, that's frustrating. I have no idea why that is not shooting. Um, as a very non-lethal business shipment just shows up. Uh, well, non-lethal for the actions we've been taking at least. I don't know why it's fully built. I don't think it has to be piped. I really don't. Um, I don't know how to pipe this and not make it look completely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious if that was going to work. I could put a ring right there, I think, and then do it. But yeah, I don't want to do that anyway. Um, wow, well, we're going to have to come back to that. I have no idea why that isn't working. This looks ridiculous just completely ridiculous anyway so I definitely want to change this up yeah I don't know why that's not working I have to come back to that and visit that because yeah I don't like it so all right let's go down here and check and see where we're at for production of steel plates and stuff we are still on steel plates halfway through so let's come back in here. Let's grab a more than that. Let's take these, put these down here. Okay, so I think we need some motors too, actually. Are we filling in what we are? So we're gonna come up here and we are going to weld this in place. Basically what we're doing, we're just going to clear up our inventory by putting the items we need in the place they need to be. And slide up over here. And there we go, made it in there. So now we need small steel tubes and motors, and then we will be good to go. For our temporary solution. Okay, so we want small steel tubes. We'll take mm, this many. And all your motors are belong to me. Okay. 
I'm not going to worry about the bulletproof glass as this is a temporary solution. I just want a functioning station. <laughs> Ugh, banging my head around. There we go. We are out of motors. Most truly out of motors. Uh, there might be some of the scorpion. Let's go ahead and go take a look. Can we fit through here? Slow down. <laughs> High speed impact incoming in three, two, one. Missed. Um, Motez. Thank you. Alright, so we got two more tubes left. <laughs> two, three, and. No! <laughs> uh, come on now. <laughs> there we go. And there it goes, amber colored. So now we can pull things down from the chandelier right now, and oh, I mistakenly turned that gray, which I'm okay with because it's not as blatantly obvious that it doesn't belong here. Let's see, let's actually going to do that for a couple of these. So it should be turn you, you, and you. They need a smaller tooltip for painting. So it's not so, uh, hey, look, I'm trying to paint um, that block. So, okay. There we go. We are online for production. We can pull ore down from the chandelier as we need and uh, get things up and running. We're going to need to do some harvesting soon. Uh, we're going to start. Um, we're going to start needing uranium, iron. Because all the iron that we produced is now getting chewed up. I think we're just a little bit we produced, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to use up, I think, 60%, 70% of our iron. So, iron can get. So, yeah, that was, that would have been roughly 50% of our iron production that we are, had just produced in that one shop, one stop, one stop shopping, um, is now going into just the steel plates and some large steel tubes, which are the biggest components we need right now, but we're also starting to run low on construction components as well. So it's starting to, see this is, <laughs> this is why I don't want the chandelier tied into the system. Um, yeah because none of this should be showing up in here. Like this reactor isn't even piped. You can't do anything with it. I don't want any of this stuff showing up in here. So we'll get to that. Um, that's coming, but we need some basic stuff first before we get all fancy. Um, it seems like I weld this every time I come out here. I mean, I haven't even parked a ship here in like, I don't know how many episodes, but these these panels always seemed warped. All right, so here we are in this episode, welding the floor again. We need a Roomba to just go around and uh, do some basic repairs. This was gonna be our Roomba, but it failed. So it's just parked here. I guess there's a lot of components here I could take apart and use in a better ship, but I kind of like the idea of having rovers, even if we're not using them yet. The station's got a long ways to go, and so it'd be kind of cool, I think, to have some uh, rovers around. Um, so, one thing I want to try to do uh, is some of the smaller ships we capture, like we keep capturing these fighter ships and stuff, uh, I want to take them and convert them over to us and then put them in orbit around 
around the asteroid. So it looks like there's stuff going on. You know, put some uranium in them. Put a lot of uranium in there. Uh, turn their beacons and stuff off. So they don't really standing out. I mean, you probably put their beacons at like 200 or something like that. But they're going to be like three or 400 from the base. And just do an orbit. So there's some movement and and stuff. So I know it's a single player world, but space is so empty. I'm getting so lonely. <laughs> um, I am got uh, a friend of mine who is working on right now a server. In fact, I think after I am done recording here, I'm going to go over there and see how that's going. And we're going to look at uh, starting a session. So that would be basically uh, my buddy learning how to play Space Engineers and me teaching him how to play Space Engineers, kind of like how we talk through every episode here. More derping. Lots and lots of derping. Like, why don't guns shoot on ships? Because there is an end stop in the barrel that looks like it belongs in Minecraft. It looks like glowstone from Minecraft. I don't know why. But, uh... <laughs> All right, so this is where we're going to wrap up the episode today. Um, we're going to do a few things uh, in the next coming episodes. Now that we have a production facility working and producing steel plates, we're going to get these shuttles with proper guns, not just this. Um, and we're going to start outfitting the Kestrel to do some deep space hauling. So we're going to put some uh, mag pads on here. We got some mods for that down here at the bottom. I got a lot of new interior stuff. Uh, I pretty much went through the shop and like, oh, that's a cool interior plate. That's a cool interior plate. Grabbed as many as I could. Uh, so when we start doing structures inside of the station, we're going to be using new interior plates. Um, yeah. So we're going to put, oh, yeah, I missed where I was going with when I went in here. There is. Doo -ba -doo, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. They were at the bottom. But I've added so many things lately that. Uh, here they go. Um, we're going to do these mag locks. Um, basically, it's a plate you put on your ship. And let's take a look at one real quick here. So there you go. It's a plate you put on your ship, and it allows for easy docking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Easy docking and undocking of ships, and very, very, very secure. Um, so I've yet to play with them uh, yeah I know I constantly say how I don't like putting mods in my game that I haven't played with but when you see enough people using them you you feel a little bit better about using them so we're going to put some of these in so we can uh, haul back wreckage and stuff and also dock some of our smaller cooler ships one thing I do want to do to the Kestro is I want to open up the internal structure and bring some of those shuttles inside. Either that or put one of the ugh, completely different doors. Um, I also want to put in, um, or ugh, what I could also do, as I meant to say, is put, do, 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 where is it at? Let's try the door. There is a modded door. That I have installed that is a three by three large block door. And so I could put that in the top or the bottom of the Kestrel and simply put a uh, productor, a projector block because we have an assembly and a refinery on board. So we could pipe in, there's an assembly or refinery, a large cargo container. So we could quite literally right here, cut a hole in the roof and have a projector block right here, take this wall here out and have a projector block producing the little mini shuttles and eject them through this door so they could literally just take off right through a door um, 
so we can keep two up on the deck and enough supplies to build, you know, five more inside the ship. Uh, and since it has a refinery, if we were really far away from home base, we could take out a little hand drill, go harvest what we need to, and just get us by to produce another shuttle. Or repair our own ship, for that matter. I think the ability to repair your own uh, deep hauler is pretty important. So, Okay, so yeah, we'll look for that in the next uh, episode or two from now, is getting the Kestrel online uh, as our fully functional go get them ship. We'll probably put some large guns on uh, on her as well. I uh, can't put these on here, but there are some other really cool modded stuff that we can put on large ships. Um, I've seen some really awesome looking turrets that take that make these little sniper rifle things look cheesy. They make these look like BB guns. So, all right. So that's it for now. This is Havoc. Uh, have fun and uh, keep gaming.